What up iPhone junkies? Bubba Booey 13 here back again from iPhoneEnthusiastBlogspot.com That's iPhone-Enthusiast.Blogspot.com I'm going to do a review of QuickDo versus Multiflow today. These are both background app switchers. Um, QuickDo does a little bit more than just switching backgrounded apps. I'm going to get into that a little bit for you here today, but this demonstration is kind of a one-on-one -on -one battle for glory here of uh, background swapping capabilities. So I really want you to try and focus on that and um, maybe not just that alone because QuickDo does have some extra perks that you might want to consider and if you end up having both you might feel you don't, you don't need one or the other after you've had them. So this is going to be a giveaway slash contest here. There's going to be kind of a vote going on at the end. I'll explain that at the end of the video, so stick around for that. I'm going to start with multi-flow. So to get into action here, if you're not jailbroken yet, which you will be or should be, you're going to, you, you should really know that uh, Apple doesn't allow you to background applications, except for some of the stock applications that run in the background for some ridiculous reason, especially given that the 3GS has full capability speed-wise, processor, RAM-wise to do so. But we're going to show you kind of that it's possible. Not only is it possible, it's very convenient. It's, uh, well, let me give you an idea here. I'm going to go ahead and open my YouTube app. I'm going to click on my videos here. I'm going to let it load, but I'm going to background it so I don't have to wait for it to load. Now I can do stuff on the Springboard and go into other apps while that is while that is backgrounded in the background there while it's still loading. To launch MultiFlow, I have it set so I hold my power button for a second or two, and it's going to pop right up. So let me give you kind of like a palm pre style card selection here of what's backgrounded on your phone at the time. Phone app is always pretty much going to pop up. I think you may go disable that within the uh, settings. I don't really go too deep into it, I really don't care. You're going to see my YouTube right here. It takes a nice little quick screenshot to show you what uh, what is backgrounded. That's my YouTube. You can see my videos up here. It might be a little blurry on my camera, but that's what's going on. I really like the smooth flow here of multi-flow. They call it multi-flow, I guess, for that reason. It really flows nice. And, uh... Yeah, it's kind of like, just like the Palm Pre, it has a little card set up where it shows you what's backgrounded. It's going to give you the option to jump between applications. No longer in the springboard, you have to go back into the application, your little app icons or anything like that. I can go ahead and open my iPod. That's my iPod running. I can go back into Multiflow, and I can swap right back to my videos in YouTube, and they're already loaded up. So that kind of gives you an idea, use your imagination there, that you can do that to multiple applications. I've done six, seven at a time on my 3GS and have not had a problem with it crashing back to the springboard or any kind of problems like that. And uh, while stuff's loading up, it kind of makes it convenient. If you're quick and you really fool around with your phone a lot and you're quick at it, that really comes in handy because you don't want to sit there and wait for things to load and all that good stuff. You know, 3GS loads pretty fast here. Still, if you're on an edge service, it really comes in handy. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into Multiflow. And it's kind of cool because you can still see in the background what's going on. That your app is open. And like if something else is going on on that app, like uh, if I'm in my iPod, let's say, I can still see it working back there. I don't know if you can see on the video, but my counter right there is still moving along. So it's still running and showing that it's running. Now let's say I want to cancel these backgrounded apps. Very simply, I'm just going to tap that red circle X right there, and it goes goes away. It's no longer background. It's no longer eating up RAM memory. I go back to my springboard, because my springboard pops up on here, just like that. Very simple, very lightweight, very good tweak slash application to get from Cydia. Now these are both paid apps, both QuickDo and MultiFlow, which brings me to uh, QuickDo. To launch QuickDo, QuickDo's background in application slash dock, I'm going to slide up. I just slid up from the corner here. Upward, bam, it's up. Now, it's not going to show you a cover flow or, excuse me, card-based uh, feature like, like uh, multi-flow. It's going to show my icons in the corner here. 
and it's kind of the same way. Now you saw that nice little gesture based swipe up to bring that up. Oh, I forgot to mention the dock down here. You can set these at your own will. That will always be here. It's a secondary dock that will pop up in any application you're running. Let's say I'm in, uh, let's go back to YouTube again. And I bring that up. You're going to see my dock pop up. I can switch to those applications at any time, whether the background is or not. So, I want a background YouTube. Let's see if I can do this with my cool little gesture base there. I have it set so if I swipe over from far left to right, it's going to background that application. Same way as Multiflow, if I go into, let's say, my iPod, and I swipe up, it's going to give me the option to go into YouTube. Pretty much the same thing. The only thing missing is that little, nice little uh, cover flow that you had on the uh, on multi-flow. There's some of you might choose that over because you like the graphic nature of multi-flow. I don't blame you. I just like all the other features that Quick View has. I just went and slid that from the side to the corner here. That stopped my backgrounding. So YouTube is no longer backgrounded. Go back into my iPod. Go out of my iPod. Now, Quick View also has other functions with that neat little gesture base deal there. And you can set it all within the settings of the application. Short slide to the left. I have that set so that it's going to do my voice control. So if I go to the left, short slide, it opens voice control. No more holding the button down, no more any of that stuff. One thing I did this morning that I really liked is I set my short slide to the right as a double tap on the home button. So now, my short slide to the right, it's going to bring up my iReal SMS. You guys have iReal SMS? You know that that can be very handy because sometimes the volume up plus press the center gets a little cumbersome. You want one smooth little gesture based slide to bring your stuff up. And quick do formerly known as MQuickDo, now QuickDo does a lot of that. I mean, there's all kinds of options you can play around with yourself there. If I go into the app, I can go ahead and waste time on my video, which I'm not going to do. Go into settings and show you all these neat little settings that it has, including the, the trigger from the top status bar, which I have turned off because I have SB settings and I don't want it to interfere with my SB settings, and it will. So turn that off if you have SB settings. All mine is from the bottom here. So uh, yeah, that's a little bit of a comparison there. I think the multitasking app switching is a little self-explanatory for you guys. Let you decide on which one's uh, a better buy, a little more bang for your buck for you personally. And uh, I personally a little biased to quick do because of all the extra functions. And with those extra functions, I don't really need two applications that are gonna swap my background and applications. However, I do really like Multiflow. I love their design and the people over there were gracious enough, as well as the people at QuickDo, to give us two licenses, one for each application here, which brings me to the giveaway portion of my video. We're going to be doing this giveaway to give away one of each. So at the end of this uh, video, go ahead and to comment. You need to be a subscriber to both channels, my channel, Pimpy Long Slappins, and the iPhone Enthusiast Blogspot channel. You need to be a subscriber to both in order to win. You need to comment. And you need to include in your comment which application you like better, which you would prefer, and why. So go ahead and do that. We're going to pick a winner from each of those columns. Whoever chooses the MQuickDo, now called QuickDo, is going to, uh, one person will get a license for QuickDo free, an official license. And uh, whoever chooses Multiflow, one person from there will get a Multiflow license. So good luck to you all at the giveaway. Uh, remember to be a subscriber and leave a comment in both channels and pick which one you like better and why. We'll choose the winner probably based on your explanation of why you chose one over the other. That's all I got for you all today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day wherever you are in the world. Baba Booey 13 I'm out of here. Follow me on Twitter.